I think the Biden administration right now is angling to simply get rid of Netanyahu, to force a collapse of the current government with the bet that the next government will be led by people like Gallant or Gantz, who the U.S. will then try to present as moderate voices compared to Netanyahu and the right wing people that are in his government right now. But the idea that there is actually a significant daylight between these different individual or leaders on the matter of Gaza, I think is a massive overstatement. The Biden administration is essentially going to try to reduce the problems in Israel to Netanyahu alone. And I find that unlikely to succeed. Reality is that in Israel right now, you do have a very strong level of support for the war for the manner in which the war has been conducted, uh, and a uh, very little appetite for any type of diplomacy or compromise. And to paper over that and simply say, oh, this was just because of Netanyahu's leadership, may work in the short run to overcome you know, the last months before the U.S. election, but it is not going to work in the long run. Very much depends on whether the Biden administration decides to actually seek to implement a ceasefire, which would mean that they would have to put some material pressure on Israel. And that includes, or has to include, uh, stopping or limiting some of the arms sales. So far, we have seen no indication from the Biden administration to be willing to do that. Instead, I think they're hoping that by causing the collapse of the government and getting a new leadership, that they have an easier time working with, that with that will also come a shift in Israel's policy in favor of a ceasefire or stopping the war. That appears to be their calculation, but it is based on a very, very dramatic bet, which is that that type of a confrontation with Netanyahu ultimately will result in a more uh, amenable Israeli government rather than a more radical one. I think there's been uh, ideas and uh, some thinking about this, but it's not been put into effect until recently when the administration invited uh, senior officials who are in the current government but are political opponents of Netanyahu to come and visit Washington. I think these are some of the subtle steps that the administration has taken in order to kind of pressure uh, the Israeli government and, and force it to collapse. The collapse may happen, but what happens after the collapse is quite uncertain. And Israel may very well end up in an even more radical right-wing government than what it currently has.